Uh, my name is Kabir Berry and I am the lead quality assurance at uh, High Risk Studios. My name is Bob Mabry and I am quality assurance for the international product of Smite, specifically in China. Uh, my name is Jacob Beeman. Um, I'm known to the community as High Res Arkov. Um, I work in the uh, quality assurance department. My name is Kerry Chichester. I'm a QA analyst at High Res Studios. So how I got into the industry was I was looking for hardware jobs and I thought, hey, you know what, how about I just go for something that I'm more passionate about. Well, a couple of years ago, I decided to go to school to get a degree in uh, game art and design. Um, but I'd also had another degree from business management. So I kind of paired these both to get involved with a startup company here in Atlanta. Well, in college, I had done a lot of different studies around game development in different areas like uh, programming, art, and animation. And after college, I saw there was a QA position opening at High Risk Studios. I was working from home um, and almost all my free time in the bug forums and um, doing uh, a whole lot of, of you know, just working on it and you make it your passion. You know, going to school and kind of understanding how networking, being able to follow your passion, get into the industry, means that sometimes you might have to accept your first job as not being the best of all jobs, right? Um, I was able to actually parlor all of those skills into being able to work with a lot of different companies and get experience to be able to get to this point here where I'm working with High Risk Studios and Smite today. And I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll head up some of the game industry, but I specifically looked for who was the top person for every company. And I emailed them out. I didn't hear back from anybody except for Todd. I heard back from Todd. He was saying that, hey, you know what, I appreciate it. We don't have anything for you right now, but hey, we'll keep you in, con we'll keep in contact if there's anything in the future. Being familiar with the different areas of game development was something that they were looking for for a quality assurance analyst, and that's how I ended up getting the position at High Risk Studios. So I was just happy to hear from him. And then two days later, I get a response back from him saying like, hey, uh, when can you come in? We might have something for you. There are definitely a lot of tools now uh, for aspiring game developers to learn the development process and familiarizing yourself with those tools, those processes is definitely going to help a lot of a lot of people that want such a position. In quality assurance, nobody's necessarily going to tell you what to do. You need to find out where your role is. Sometimes that means you have to dig into the actual game itself to find issues for the bugs. First I would look for someone who is passionate about games because that is kind of a requirement for this position. But I would also want to see that there's someone who is serious about game development, that there's someone who is able to who's able to focus on a lot of the parts of game development that, that aren't very glamorous, that require a lot of uh, a very methodical approach. Uh, first thing, whatever you're going to be focused on doing, whether it's making games or QA, be sure you can back up and say you can do what you say you can do. Uh, a lot of people will sometimes say they can do X and they can't even do X in the interview. Make it your passion, make it your life. Whether it's your, you know, gaming, whether it's art, you know, the, you know, the game industry has rooms for all kinds of people, people who make videos, people who, you know, find bugs, people who do art people who, you know, work with legal services, doesn't matter. There's a way to find your way in, you just have to make it your passion. You can be useful right away to the, um, uh, to QA that's already looking at the forums and they will pick up on that. And when time arises to um, look for, you know, candidates, you might be right up there because you've already proven that you know what to do. I would say one of the first requirements is that you have to be passionate about games. That is something that we're looking for, but you also have to be someone who's able to focus and uh, someone who is definitely very serious about, uh, about game development because there is a lot of work involved in the QA process, so we want someone who is very serious about being able to help uh, help us make a great game. You know, if you want to be able to work in the industry, you got to let people know, hey, guess what? This is where I want to be. Um, and thirdly, you need to be able to work with a team because it's not just going to be you. It's going to be you working with a team of other individuals to get a product out and hopefully a real kick-ass product.